Guns and gangs seem to go hand in hand, and investigators say that dangerous combination ended in death again. They say a gang member shot and killed the member of a rival gang and then wrote a rap song about it. Fox 13's Ken Suarez is live at the Polk Sheriff's Office with more on what happened. Bring us up to speed, Ken. Pretty amazing stuff tonight. Here's the way the whole thing went down. You have one guy who has an argument with a second guy, both rival gang members. Don't know what that argument was about, but we do know that the first guy pulls out a gun. Second guy turns around, goes to run away, and gets shot in the back. You would think that would be the size of it. No. First guy decides he's going to write a rap song about it, put it him on blast so that everybody in the world knows exactly what happened. This is Ladarian Chandler. Ladarian is 19 years of age. He's a self-proclaimed rapper. And a gang member now charged with the first degree murder of rival gang member John Bang Bang McGee, a felon. Back in December, detectives say Chandler, armed as usual, began to argue with McGee. I call it uh, a testosterone overload. He was mean mugging. He was bad eyeing. Chandler was on home turf on Pirate's Way in the Secret Cove subdivision of Polk County. When the tensions got to a boiling point, McGee turned and ran and was shot in the back. A moment forever captured in a rap song that Chandler wrote and posted on his social media. He not only makes him a rap video about shooting somebody, he admits shooting the guy in the back. I'm a coward rapper, that's what I am. McGee died a few weeks later. Detectives say neither he nor Chandler were angels. Chandler was arrested for the first time when he was just 11 years old. Then again at 13, 14, 15, 17. And on probation when he shot McGee, who had just gotten out of prison a few months before he was killed. This is just the latest gang violence in Polk. 11 people were shot in Lakeland in a drive-by recently. Two young girls shot in Lake Wells as they slept in their beds. And less than a week ago, a gang shootout in Poinciana that left one shooter dead and two people critically injured. Now the sheriff has a warning for all gang members. Look at what just happened to Chandler. This guy thought he was going to be you or you're going to be him. And now he's going to prison for the rest of his life. As you may know, at this point, Polk just launched a, an anti-gang task force, and it's going to include different representatives from the FDLE, the FBI, and every single police department in Polk County. So just by looking at this and what's happened over the last couple of weeks, it looks like they have a whole lot of work, unfortunately, ahead. Linda? Ken Suarez reporting live for us. Thanks.